Hey guys, I'm doing another video today for Jed's Aquarium. Anyway, to start off the video, I want to just give a shout out to my friend um, at um, Savage Gaming. I'll put his link in the description. He's an awesome guy. He's one of my friends from school. He's really he's a good he's a good guy. I love gaming and I love his channel. So I'll put the link in the description. Um, so just click that link. I don't even, you don't have to step it out even. I'll put it in the description. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Today, as you can see, I have some. I don't know if you know what this is, but this is a mealworm right here. Like, right here. The, the, this thing. This is a mealworm. They are, what they, these are the things I feed my frogs. So they start out as this. I have a, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about making a colony. Because I'm not sure if I'm gonna. But anyway. This is my um, mealworm. This is one of my mealworms. I have a lot of them. There's a little thing of them. They shed their skin a lot, so as you can see. As you can see, as these things. These things right here. extra... This is just shed skin. This is their exoskeleton, actually, that just shed. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It's pretty weird. It's kind of like weird. But they kind of break out of that and shed into anyone. Anyway, this, this is a little. I just. I figured I would do this video. I wanted to do it for a while. But I was waiting till. I, I, I kind of. I did something weird today. I kind of was um, checking every day to see if I, could, if I can get one of these beetles. This is the adult mealworm. That's an adult mealworm right there. That beetle. They're pretty small right now. He's. They usually get. They're actually. They're called darkling beetles. And they're usually. They. This is. He, this guy just hatched out this morning. Like I saw him finishing hatching out. Stupid enough. I didn't video it. I should have. Anyway. So here let me get. So let me tell you about this. This is the original stage. They. Well, first they're an egg, which is pretty small. Anyway, I don't have an egg right now, so I can't really show you that. But um, after the egg, they hatched into. This is a, a mature mealworm. This is pretty big. This is pretty big. Th that's about to. Th this one is about to kind of um, turn into a, a larva, which is these things. These are larvae. They're pretty much immobile. Im immobile, which um, they just look like um, little kind of. They, they look like the beetle, but like they look like a white beetle, but like immobile. And they're alive. They're just in a cocoon, kind of. If you ever seen a butterfly in a cocoon, that's what this basically is. So. Anyway, after the larva, they turn into this this beetle, and these beetles can fly. Some some dark it depends on the darkling beetle. So there, let me give you some history on these guys. These darkling beetles originated in um, really they're all over. I mean, I'm actually not sure where they originated. I think they originated in um, you know what? I'm not even gonna say. I don't really know. I don't want to give you guys false information. So anyway, there's a there's the mealworms. They're kind of all over. There's also there's called something called a mealworm and a superworm. Superworms are basically the same thing as a mealworm, just a really a lot harder shell, and they get bigger. They get a lot bigger, um, so they get a good amount bigger than mealworms. But these are the normal size mealworms. You there are things called giant mealworms that are like literally this big. They can get up to literally that big. Those are just don't buy those. Those are if you ever find those and say oh those are cool that I could get those for my beard dragon or something, don't buy them. They're really, there's so many hormones and um, growth hormones and everything that they put into those things that it's really not good for your bearded dragon. You may say, oh, but it's a lot cheaper, but, I mean, it's really not worth it. it it's bad for your bearded dragon. Or any really, just as an example, bad for your animal that you're going to feed it to. Birds or anything, it's really bad for them. Reptiles, birds, like, um, maybe any, really anything. It's because it's not necessarily horrible for them, but it's not good for them. They have the natural, the unnatural chemicals still in them that they've been fed. That is not, it's not good. Anyway, so I wanted to do this video for a while, and anyway, I'm do, so I'm finally doing it because I got the beetle. But anyway, these, this guy just hatched out this morning. I'm really, I got to watch him hatch out a little. Stupidly, I said it stupidly enough. I didn't video it, but anyway, he'll turn darker, and I'll give you a update on him soon when he turns dark. Like, which will probably be in a few hours, but I'll do another, I'll just kind of do a little video. This is kind of just an uh, extra video. To, it's a bonus video, anyway. Anyway, these are these guys, so talk to you, see you guys later, comment, subscribe, and...